Yo, what's up, guys? Do you want a free MC Tears testing bot, or what people would call it, MC Tears replica? Well, me, uh, uh, probably people who are watching this won't know. I am, well, first of all, my name, or what well, people would know me as, is Velocity. Um, I have been making tutorials for, I'm not sure, maybe six months now on how to make your own tier testing bot, how I've been providing other alternatives to free tier testing bots. I've been giving away free tier testing bots. And now, as we all know, Bot Ghost, uh, there's a high chance that Bot Ghost doesn't come back just because Discord does not like Bot Ghost and um, can't really do nothing about it. But um, now I'm, I'm trying to give an alternative to people who one, don't know how to use Bot Ghost, don't know how to code, and just want something simple to set up. So basically, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I made a MC Tears, in quotes, replica. It's the best I could make it. Um, I do have limited experience. And honestly, it did take a lot of videos to learn how to make some of the stuff. It did take a lot of asking. It did take, you know, some, I'm not going to lie, some AI use to help me fix some issues or error logs that I got that I just didn't understand. But now, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably the best MC Tears replica that is public and free to the to people and so basically I made this bot so you could have oh well, I'm pretty sure you can have only up to three I'm pretty sure that's what I set it at but I did run it through AI to make sure nothing was wrong and it might have I don't know it might have uh, messed with something that I didn't ask it to so it should go up to three three queues for each region or if you want you did three game modes uh, I don't know if you want to work it like that but basically this bot uh, it has all the features you would need to run a tier list server. Right now, for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you how to set up everything. So you how to set up all the wait lists, uh, the wait list panel. I'm gonna teach you how to set up the queue. I'm gonna teach you how to set up the results. I'm gonna teach you how to set up transcripts as well. I'm, I've recently updated this. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've, I've probably used AI to help me a lot. And this was something I definitely needed AI to help me with a lot as well. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and just start with the simple stuff. Um, the simple stuff would just be all the setup commands. There's going to be five setup commands that you're going to have to do. Setup queue. Uh, let's say you have two queue channels. You're going to put two IDs in. You're going to put a comma between each ID. And then if you want to add more, just add another comma. And then category for tickets is basically where the tier test tickets would be added to. I currently just have it in queue because it doesn't really matter to me. And then for past category, that means when it, whenever a ticket gets eval passed, you it will basically become what people would call a high tier 3 ticket. And so I just put it in high tickets. I just set that up. I did not mean to do that. Oh, God. Okay, well, let me just do this again. Put it in queue, and then I have it in uh, high tickets. It's just going to say that queue setup complete for channels and it's going to list your queue channels. And then I'm going to do setup again. I've already done setup queue. Setup channel is for the text where, I mean, the result, the channel where results will be sent to. So just put your result channel in there. It's not doing hard to do. And I'm going to say this again. This is probably one of the easiest, the easiest setup to do. Uh, all you got to do here is put your testers. Your tester role and then go ahead and put all your uh, tier roles in here and all you gotta do is just enter it it's gonna say the same thing set up roles now you're gonna do set up waitlist this is the role to give so let's say so basically this channel right here it is private so you have to have a certain role and that role being waitlist if you have this role you can view that channel so basically once you complete the form it will do that and then the channel to send form submissions to is basically where uh, uh, verification or whatever you want to call it submissions or waitlist submissions will be sent to currently I don't have a specific channel for that so I just put in tickets transcripts and then now let's go ahead and do setup I've already done these four set up the transcripts it's just gonna be in ticket transcripts again now that we've done all four of the transcripts, I can go ahead and just do slash results. 
uh, just put my name in there. Go ahead and put everything that uh, I'm here for. And by the way, currently the ball only uh, has NAEU and AS. So if you put a region outside of those three, it will not respond. It will just say the application did not respond. So basically, current value, I currently have low tier three. And I'm just going to put myself as low tier three again. And then there is going to is going to record my result. There we go. And so now, if I want to see my test count, I'm just going to go ahead and go over some stuff that I've added. Uh, it says my test count. Test leaderboard does not currently work, just because I I just didn't decide to make it. Wait, does it work? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was never supposed to look like this, but. Uh, I guess it's working as of right now. I don't know. It wasn't working earlier. I don't know how we got fixed, but um, uh, let's say I'm off the last wait list for. Uh, who has? Uh, let me go ahead and just. Who has put in a? Uh, let me just try myself. So if I don't like last wait list, meaning the last wait list form, like whenever you try to enter the queue, uh, basically it should show something like this, and what I have is so. Uh, what is one of these users the executioner? I'll just, just choose them the It's gonna show uh, his last waitlist entry and So that is basically the rest of the commands that are just there to be helpful Now let's go ahead and go into the get tested So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that which since you already set up everything you can do the send waitlist panel and you're just gonna choose the channel that you want to extend to it's going to do this currently it says that if you're a high tech player higher a high ticket will be created but since i do not have it so you can have a role that's high tech three or higher this does not work i'll add it in the future but for right now uh it's just not possible that's why i have a high testing ticket and so uh, let's say i enter wait list i put my names in i put my region i okay well i put my region and then it's going to say I've been added to the waitlist. It's going to give me a uh, new waitlist submission. It's going to say in there. Uh, this has been open, but I'm just going to redo it. So I open the queue. I join it. And if I want to do next, or let's just go ahead and say if I want to do skip, it's just going to skip me. And then if I'm going to join again, I can do slash next. It's going to add me into a channel. Here is my last test result. And if I want, I can do pass eval. As it has been changed into a different channel. And then so I'm just going to speak a little bit. I'm just going to yap in here. I'm just going to put random words. And then now if I try to close it, it's going to give me two uh, options to cancel or confirm the close. I'm going to confirm the close. And then basically in ticket transcripts, it's going to give you a little transcript of uh, the ticket. This is probably as basic I could get. There's probably a better way to do this. I just don't have it. Uh, there, I don't know if there's a better way to do this. There could be like a download link, but I just have it like this. So now, this is this is all the features of right now. Uh, I'm planning to do more with MC Tears. You know, currently the hosting is just fine. I have it for I think another month after this. Um, I might have to ask for some donations but of course if you want to donate and you know keep the bot uh what's it called 24 7 also give it some good i don't know i don't know what you call it hosting currently the bot is on three gigabytes 50 gigabytes of uh ssd and it has some pretty good uh uh I, I just don't know i don't remember what it was called my fault for not knowing i think it's called a cpu and gpu but i'm pretty sure it's just cpu but uh, last time I checked, the CPU was decent. I just don't remember what exactly it was. And then, so, basically, now let's say you want to get the bot. Now that you've seen all the features, you're going to join my server. And uh, right here is where, uh, I mean, updates is where you would find the update link. In my server, I'll also do all the updates for the MC tiers. If, there, if there's going to be a downtime, I'll do the announcement ping if there's going to be if the downtime is over, I'm going to go ahead and say downtime is done. I'm going to list the, the patches and bugs, fixes. And so basically at the moment, this is what the bot is.
Uh, I've changed it a little bit, but the bot is completely free. The bot is public. Um, again, if you don't want to spend fifteen twenty dollars plus hosting fee, then this is a perfect, perfect, perfect bot for you. And so basically, this is I, there is a few other options, uh, but they're not specifically for tier testing. They're not specifically specifically gonna be able to do all these features for you and then again if you want your own bot uh you can dm me i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give you the bot for free i don't i don't even sell bots but i'll give you a few people who will give you i would say a better replica than what i'm making so yeah um i hope you enjoy the bot uh currently the bot is around 70s uh, i'm not 70 maybe 60 mid 60s so basically there's only 45 more I would say around 45 more spots available for servers I'm actually gonna check that real quick so if I go in here uh, yep it is in 60 servers so you would there's only 40 spots left uh, once we hit a hundred I'll try to get verified by discord so I can actually make money so I won't have to keep begging y'all for hosting donations but you know if you ever have any issues if you ever have any um i don't know you want to recommend something go ahead just want one thing that you need to be reminded of is that this is no longer my main like objective i don't know i don't remember how to say it correctly but this is not the main thing i want to be like taking care of i have school i have sports I have a bunch of other stuff that I just got to do this summer so I don't get left behind. And, you know, this this was fun to make. It actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was last time I tried to do it. I just could not do it for some reason. And so this time, I wasn't a dumbass. And uh, I actually did save the original MC Tears, uh, well, a replica MC Tears file. So I might, I might even, like, just publish that in the future for people who just want to host it. But anyways, uh, yeah, I hope you have a good day. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope you enjoyed the bot. And yeah, that's all I got to say.